We went to the Board of Public Works and Safety meeting for September 12, 2019. A roll call, please. Here. Here. Any conflict of interest statements today, Mr. Long? No, sir. None here either. Approval of minutes of meeting of August 29, 2019 and September 5th, 2019. Yeah, I'd like to uh, recommend we approve the minutes of uh, August 29, 2019 and September 5th, 2019. And I'll concur. Item A. Uh, item A, bid opening, first district local street project, Wolf Lake Ribbon Curb, Hammond Court, Maiden Lane, Forsyth Square, and Roosevelt Drive. The first bid is from Walsh and Kelly, Griffith, Indiana. You got the, uh, is it in there? I mean, I'll rip it open, I don't care. Oh, there it is, I'm sorry. Okie doke. Okay, we have the the bid proposal. Mm -hmm. Is this form ninety six here? Yeah, form ninety six. Non-collusion affidavit, and there's one more thing, right? Is that it? That's not it. Okay. <clears throat> nope. Bid bond, bid bond, bid bond. And the bid bond. And Walsh and Kelly's bid is Walsh and Kelly's bids are alternate one. The alternate one bid is seventy one thousand two hundred and seventy dollars. And alternate two bid is Two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars. Bid number two will be from Davis Concrete Construction Company, Moni, Illinois. Okay. We have the bid bond. We have the form ninety six. And we also have the non collusion affidavit. Alternate one is $79,067.50. Alternate two is $201,274.50. That would be the Davis Concrete bid. Bid number three is from Gary of Construction, Gary, Indiana. We 
at the bid proposal. <clears throat> we have a form 96. We have the non collusion affidavit. And let's see here. And we also have the bid bond. And their prices are alternate one is $157,500, and alternate two is $263,500. That would be for Gary construction. Do I have these wood engineering? Recommendation wood engineering for tech engineering. Okay. Uh, I make a recommendation we forward these bids to engineering for their uh, review and approval. And I'll concur. This all about? I don't even know. What is this all about? No, no, it's all right. It's never come up before this way. Okay, um, item B bid opening, 6th District Local Street Project, Carolina Avenue between 165th Street to 169th Street, and Tennessee Avenue between 163rd Street to 167th Street Lighting Improvements. have two bids, the first one being from Hawk Enterprises, Crown Point, Indiana. Okay, we have the bid proposal. Have the bid bond. Form 96. And where is it at? Where's our non collusion at? And also we have our non collusion affidavit. <clears throat> Total bid price is right, is three hundred ninety-five thousand eight hundred forty-one dollars and eighty-six cents. And our next bid is from. Midwestern Electric, East Chicago, Indiana. We have the bid bond. Have the bid proposal. And let's see, six pages we have our Yeah. 
We have our non-collusion affidavit, and I'm just looking for our Form 96, and there it is. Okay, so this is Midwestern Electric, and let's see. Western Electric's bid proposal is $442,702.10. Those are the two bids for item B. Okay. I recommend that we forward those two bids to engineering for their review. And I'll concur. Item C, change order received from Beam, Longest, and Neff requesting an extension of one week in the completion date in the Erie Lackawanna Trail over Calumet Avenue project with no cost increase. Good morning, venerable board. Good morning. Um, this uh, extension uh, was at the request of the city of Hammond. Uh, the contractor had anticipated set setting the bridge during the week of the Festival of the Lakes, and we asked them to postpone so that it didn't cause any traffic concerns. It was one week request. Um, regret that this wasn't done sooner, but uh, we've reviewed it, and we would recommend the board's approval for this additional weeks uh, at no cost. Okay, I recommend that we uh, we approve uh, the change order from uh, those two companies. And I'll concur. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item E, rental registration hearing on prop, what, D, let me, let me go back. Item D, correspondence received from Norfolk Southern Engineering requesting permission to repair the railroad crossings at Columbia Avenue beginning September 16th and Marble Street beginning September 18th, 2019. The engineering departments reviewed this request. We've actually kind of been pushing Norfolk Southern to get this crossing fixed. Um, uh, and also at, at Marble Street uh, as a result of the development that's going on over there on 24 Marble. So uh, we've reviewed it and this is east, uh, west of Sheffield at Marble Street. Mm -hmm. The old Calumet Flexicore, if that makes sense. Uh, we've reviewed the request and we recommend approval um, by this board, thank you. Uh, Mr. Button, even yes, with um, all the road closures going eastbound and westbound on yeah. 148? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. It's south of Summer Street, so um, the, the uh, Indiana Toll Road has 150th and 149th close near, closed mm -hmm. nearby, mm -hmm. um, but uh, Hoffman is open and Chicago is open um, one lane each way. Oh, Columbia, this is going to be a total closure of the tracks, right? Correct. Just right here. For right? how long? It's about a week. It's uh, like four days. Okay. It just complicates things for us. Emergency. Of course. Okay. But um, it doesn't preclude us from getting to the east side of the Indiana Toll Road. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Then I uh, make a recommendation that we approve the, uh, the extension. And uh, I'll concur. Thank you. Thank you. Item E, rental registration hearing on property located at 6530 California Avenue. <clears throat> Good morning. Um, Good morning. This was uh, actually set out from 30 days ago. Uh, Mr. Hendricks uh, was to come in with uh, a lease, or, or not only a lease, but a uh, contract deed, uh, deed contract, I'm sorry, um, uh, to show when he bought, purchased the property. He did register this one unit for 2019. Our question was uh, for 2018. Uh, so he did uh, provide uh, the deed and it was recorded uh, on April 15th of 2018. 
Um, so uh, we are requesting uh, that he register the property for 2018 at $5 with no penalty. Okay, then. Thank you. I'll make that recommendation then that we uh, waive the late fee for 2018 and he has to register at a cost of $5. And I'll concur. Item F, rental registration hearing on property located at 825 Eaton Street. This is 1540 Truman Street, Hammond. Good morning. Good morning. We have this as uh, one unit. Uh, Ms. Breeden uh, purchased it uh, in 2016, is that correct? Uh, yeah. It was, it was also you and, and the old owner uh, yep. shared the, the title? It was, yeah, my mom's house. And yes. I inherited okay. it. Um, it was registered previously, uh, only owes for 2019. Tell no, us what happened this year, ma'am. Um, I thought, well, I didn't, I don't get any notice to know that I have to sign up. And I thought it was in April and I missed the deadline. Um, I, I know now that it's in, I think, February. Well, it's actually from January 1st to April 15th. From January to April? Yes. I, I showed up in April, but it, I was after the deadline, so that's why I'm here today. Well, just make just going forward. You have it from the beginning of the year till April fifteenth. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, my recommendation is that you said it was for two thousand nineteen, right? Right. When you that we waive the late fee for two thousand nineteen, and uh, you register the uh, uh, the property at a cost of five dollars at the end of today's meeting, if you'd like. Okay. 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 And I'll concur with that. Thank you. Thank you. Item G. Rental registration hearing on property located at 904 Cherry Street. My name is Adrian Robles. My address is 7006 Birch Avenue. Is that what you've got, Jaime? Uh, I have uh, owner as Manuel Robles. That's my father. Okay, he owns. He owns the property, that's correct. And that's at so 531 Cherry? No, that's my sister's address. You've got a Chicago address for Yeah, father. that's my father's address. 1954 West Superior Street? That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's his address. Okay. I think 531 was my sister who was originally managing the property until I took it over in May. And uh, what he's saying is correct. Uh, she did manage it in 2018, uh, and we had her address at 531. Cherry. That's correct. So when I took it over in May, I realized she didn't do it. So that's why I'm here today. So we have uh, Mr. Manuel Robles Jr. owned since 2009. Uh, fortunately, 2014, Board of Works uh, waived a late fee. Uh, and he was able to pay the $80. Uh, he owes for 2019 one unit. Okay, sir. I know that you're uh, new to this, but uh, we've there's been one other occasion that we waived the late fee. Okay. So I'm not inclined to give you that same. Uh, same thing today. Okay. So I'm going to recommend that we um, we impose the $500 late fee, uh, which you can pay at the conclusion of today's meeting. Okay. Um, and that's my recommendation. And I'll concur. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Item H, correspondence received from Mr. Albert. Arolano requesting the rental registration hearing currently set for September 19, 2019, be continued to September 26, 2019. Okay. Right. okay. I'll make that recommendation that we continue it to September 26th. Now concur. Okay. Now concur. Item I, notice of violation hearing on property located at 7225 Southeastern Avenue. Good morning, board. Good morning. So we inspected this property, the, a four unit at 7225 Southeastern, and um, found uh, three electrical panels for four units. And we were advised by Mr. Nunez, the owner of the property, that unit D's controls were in unit A's panel, 
which struck me as not safe and kind of strange. So upon our um, permit research in downstairs in the inspections department, we found that uh, this, this property was constructed as a three unit and there were never any permits pulled to make it a four unit. Um, the, for the apartment D, the, the illegal, well, the allegedly illegal unit, um, the ceiling height is too small. It's, uh, if you'll find in your packet there in the back, the back are the pictures. Uh, the ceiling height is six foot 11 and a quarter inch. And in the bathroom, in the shower, the ceiling height is, is code is six, eight, and it's only six, two. The unit is also below grade, uh, more than 50% below grade. Um, so we are asking the board to affirm the ruling um, to remove the, the, the unit that's constructed illegally. So the fourth unit in question, is it a basement cellar yeah, yeah, underneath cellar kind of thing? Um, egress is an issue. Right. Um, windows are above the 44 inches. They wanted to try to uh, make it a legal four unit, but we checked with zoning and they do not have enough square footage for that fourth unit. They're at a little over 7,000 in intent. So uh, from zoning to building codes, it's a little bit too large for us to do that. <clears throat> okay, I have no comment. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna recommend that we, uh, we approve the findings and uh, uh, have the fourth apartment removed. Thank you. I'll concur with that. Thank you. Thank you. Item J, correspondence received requesting a rental registration hearing. Okay, I'm gonna recommend that we set that for October 10th, 2019. And I'll concur. Item K, Ooh. garage sale permit submitted for approval. And as the meeting goes forward, I would hope that we don't have any delirious discussion um, of the remaining items on the agenda. I concur with that. Do I get like a seat? Do I get a seat? Uh, yeah, yeah. What did I say? Delirious? Oh, I got a laugh on that one. I recommend that we approve the garage sale permits. And I'll concur. I can't, I can't go back. I can't go back now. <laughs> <laughs> Item six, matters from other board members. Uh, Mr. Long? I don't have any. Uh, matters from other department heads or their representatives? Mr. Button. I would just like to wish the, the chairman a happy wedding anniversary. Really? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Mr. Button. Thank you. Um, any new business? I seeing none. Old business, there is none. Meetings open to the public. And anyone out in the public like to speak with us today? Good morning. Good morning. My name is Lynette Austin. I'm here representing New Community Baptist Church. We recently moved from 5461 Calumet Avenue to 707 169th Street, and we would like to have a parade that goes from our old location down to our new location. We contacted Gregory Hartman, he's a state investigator because uh, Calumet Avenue is a state highway, and he um, requires that we have a concurrence for temporary use of city or county streets detouring traffic from a state highway signed and dated by the board and then they can go forward. And so I'm just here to request your signature on this form. What would the date be? I'm sorry, it's October 12th and it would start at 10 o'clock and we would leave from um, Summer Street 
and come straight up Calumet Avenue. We would turn and go west on 169th down to Madison and then Madison to Cherry. This church is at the corner of 169th and our property ends at Cherry Street. What is October 12th? A couple questions. Um, are you requesting any of the street to be closed or are you guys walking on the sidewalk? We, we are gonna do, it's gonna be a cars. So we would be um, driving down Calumet Avenue. How many are you thinking? Probably less than 30 vehicles. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, has the state said that whether, I mean, Captain Long, what happens when, in, with, regarding Calumet Avenue? Well, they have to give us approval. Um, so I'm, I'm, that's, I was gonna have you look at that letter and see if you think that's Thanks. an approval from have you. Have you, I'm not saying you know you can't do it. I'm just have you have you thought of any alternative routes that would not? I'm just worried about you know because Calumet obviously is the main right. fair. Have you thought about going down Conkey to Harrison and over or other? Or do you, is your preferred route? That's the preferred route, but okay. we'd be open to whatever the board would um, approve. Because that's another question. Are you talking about you're going to want us to shut down the whole road, or are you just going to take just the south side? Just the south side, you know, southbound and traffic. South, south yes, traffic. yes. The, and the other reason I mentioned is just because it's a truck route. Okay. You know, so there's truck traffic, and we basically be backing everything up behind because you want all lanes of southbound traffic, not just one. Yes. Lane. Yeah. So. Um, um, I. This is for the interim permit. I'm saying for the, the parade. So yeah. Parade. Mm -hmm. You can just signed off by the mm -hmm. local. Yeah. Kevin, I can also have uh, Lieutenant Vicari make a call to make sure that that's not an issue traffic-wise with the state. Uh, we can do that if you want. Yeah, the good thing is you came nice and early, so we got a little bit of time okay. to, to kind of deal with this. So I think uh, we probably need to do a little homework on this. We probably want to table this okay. to allow Captain Long um, to, uh, and make sure we you leave your contact information with Lynn, okay. because that way we can get in touch with you. Are you the best contact for the church? Um, either myself or Pam. Pamela Lofton is the event coordinator, but she couldn't be here today, okay. so I'm here for her, in her behalf, so nice either of one you. of us. <laughs> um, and we do have a permit number for the state of Indiana. Yeah, we're gonna take a copy of that. I think Lynn's gonna you get You can it. have this one. Oh, we can I have, have that, great. Mm -hmm. And then um, just make sure to give you or Pamela's number to Lynn. Okay. And then she'll be, in, we can, that, that way we can keep communication going. All right, and then this is, in case you wanted it, this is the, the local street closures yeah. that, we, that would, you know, be affected by it. Okay, yep, okay. I'll give that to the board. Yeah, because right. you, you understand we, we want to help you, of course, but we right. have to get the state's approval and right. make sure. Well, that that's what we, we initiated with the state and originally, and they said that if you all would, sign that and we would have to get with the police department to ensure that they would provide safety for us to come you know come across that way then they would give their approval for the permit okay i'm going to have my traffic lieutenant Not a make problem. that call and once we get the approval we'll, we'll help make sure that you get there safely okay, okay. thank you thank you thank you i can imagine it taking 20 30 minutes no, right? it'll be pretty yeah. fast right? Right anybody uh, else from the public would like to speak please Linda Trevino. Okay. I am um, here on regards to the rental property at 422 Locust Street in Hammond, can you, Indiana. Can you push that mic down? Sure, I'll get it for you. There you go. Thank you kindly. Okay. 422 Locust? Correct. Okay. Um, last week it was um, in here and they actually put the $500 because we didn't pay um, for 2018. We did pay on 2017 and 2019. Unfortunately, um, the paperwork went to the wrong address and I wasn't aware. So um, I missed out on the hearing that was here. So I was hoping that I can get another hearing and um, we can talk about it. The board remembers this is uh, the case where we had, uh, mm -hmm. we went to one address uh, in Indiana and then it, uh, no one showed up for that one. We had a secondary address in Blue Island, Illinois and no one showed up for that one. Um, so. I, Pressure memory. So, um, were both those addresses incorrect? Is that what you're saying? Correct. They were but, incorrect. But and are, you, are you saying the city didn't? Because the city uses the addresses they have. Right. And that probably was my fault um, because when I did do the paperwork in 2019, um, it, it probably, I should have overlooked, I should have seen that it had the Blue Island, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, so, that was my mistake. But I, I do pay. Um, it was How just long have you owned the property, ma'am? 
Um, I've owned the property for three years. What's the Blue Island address? Um, that was the person who used to own the property who we're still on the title with. Um, you buy on a contract? Yes. Well, did they get the notice? Yes, but unfortunately he's been deported and I didn't get the notice. So that was my problem. Is the contract of sale recorded? Have you recorded your contract of sale with the Lake County Recorder's Office? No. Okay, because if you haven't, I'm just going to make a decision. You should to protect yourself, just FYI, because yeah. theoretically he could sell it out from under you if you don't have anything yeah. recorded yeah. in the county recorder's office. Because yeah. you have no proof of any ownership. Um, I'm only quick claim on the deed. Okay, is the deed, you're on the deed that's mm -hmm. recorded? Yes, I am quick claim on the deed. And that's recorded? Correct. I think we're going to table this for today, ma'am. We're going to set the we're going to set a, another date for September 26th. Okay. Um, is there anything she can bring in? Yeah, I'd say the deed and the contract. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Deed and the contract for sale. Okay. Do you understand that, ma'am? Um, I can bring the deed, but the contract of sale I don't have. Okay. Well, if you're on the deed, I guess that would probably be good enough because okay. you don't really need a contract for sale because you own the property. Okay. And I want to make sure it's been recorded. Okay. And then also any prior registration forms you filed, bring those in too. Okay, so like the copy of the 2019? Okay. And the 18 and the 17. And we'll try to ever, get ever our since, files yeah, too. We'll yeah. get our files. Okay, perfect. Okay. Then we're going to set this over for September 26, 2019 at 9 a.m. And you're going to be required to bring the deed that day, okay? And, and proof and of any the, other proof of your insurance. I'm sorry, Kat. That's okay. And proof of, of my insurance too? Okay. Uh, 2000. And any leases? At 9 a.m. Okay, I definitely will do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, meetings open to the public. Anyone else like to speak? Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to put in a verbal request that the city repair the road between North Cod and Southeastern on 167th, please. Can, can we have your name, ma'am? Uh, Donna Crozier. I was wondering if after they, if even we could fix it, that we could maybe possibly put in a bike path or a sidewalk for a safe passage for children and people in wheelchairs. There's people going up and down that street on bikes and it's not very safe. And the new business is open near Northcott and that entrance there, it's very, it's getting congested now. So we're talking in general 167th Street from Columbia Between Avenue, Between southeastern, southeastern and northeastern, all the way going correct, east to North Cot. Yes. That's pretty rough. Um, have, have you spoken to you? Is that the fourth well, I've spoken to a few people, but I just thought okay. if I made it public okay. notice, okay. should I write a letter too? No, but I, I would have started with your councilman. I would have started there. If okay. You to, if well, then I maybe should go to the council meeting. Uh, he's, he would be the one to help you, I think. All right. The, the fastest, for sure. Okay. Well, obviously, the city engineer is sitting here, right. so he's heard, he's well, heard I've what you to said. Well, I've he's spoken to me, but I thought if I could make it verbal and more public, maybe I'd get more reaction. Understood. understood. Not saying anything against anybody, but. Mm -hmm. We understand. Okay. Okay. Not complicated matters, but that is a split between the third and the fifth district. Yeah. Third under north. Uh huh. So. Half of it's on the fifth division, and half's on the third. So that's a problem right there. To get them to cross the aisles and shake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Well, you know who that is. We appreciate the request, and we'll uh, duly right. note that, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else from the public like to speak? Ms. Kalina? No, nothing. Mr. Vail? Nothing? Okay. I make a recommendation that we adjourn the meeting. And I'll concur.